Hey everybody, you know I've made quite a few videos trying to fix Windows Movie Maker and it is a really buggy program, we all know that. But it does work good when it works. So I'm, I'm going to show you how to go into Event Viewer and it keeps a record of all the events in your computer. Go in and open Movie Maker and make it air out on you and then go into the Event Viewer and look under the errors and it'll show you the file name that caused the error and then you can go in and manually delete that file name and that should take care of Windows Movie Maker. Or better yet, just uh, follow the path to that file name and just rename it. Like file name dot old or say it was file file name dot execute, just rename it file name dot old dot execute. And that way if, if it does screw up the, the system and you need it for something else, you can go in and rename it back to what it was. But that should fix the Windows Movie Maker or at least tell you why it's airing out on you. Let me know if it helps, and uh, I'm still working on it, but eventually, somewhere down the path, we'll finally get it to work. So I'll talk to you guys later. One more thing, right-click my computer, go to Manage, click on the Event Viewer. If you've been having errors in Windows Movie Maker or something like that, you can click on your antivirus, click on the date, and it'll show you information loaded by the date, application by date, security errors, system errors. Here's an error. You double click on it, it tells you what happened, tells you what file was the cause of it, and it gives you a link to get more information on it. So if you've been having a problem with the Windows Movie Maker, you could probably click on Application. And it'll tell you an application error. And it'll tell you what happened. So like my FTP server crashed on me the other day. It kept a record of it. It tells me the file that caused it to crash. So I could go in and delete that file and reboot my Windows. And hopefully the application would either recreate that file or I'd have to reinstall the application but that's the file that caused it to lock up.